A man claimed to have captured photos of a mysterious creature jumping from tree to tree while driving along State Highway 2 in Point Pleasant. Although he refused an on-camera interview, he remains adamant that the images are genuine. Could these photos be evidence of something lurking in the woods of Point Pleasant, hidden from the public eye? What did this man really capture? Is this just another sighting dismissed as fantasy, or could it be a glimpse into a reality we're not supposed to see? Researchers at Tokyo University have developed robots with human-like facial expressions using engineered living skin tissue. Living in a sci-fi movie, anyone. I mean, it feels like it more and more these days. Like, you ready for today's deep dive? Robots with living skin. <laughs> and not just skin, skin that can smile. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This new method connects lab-grown skin to a robotic skeleton with a layer of collagen gel allowing the skin to move naturally without tearing. It's one of those things where it's like cool, but also kind of creepy, right? Just a tad. A little bit. Yeah, just a tad. But that's why we're diving into this NPR article today, because it's about way more than just, like, unsettling robot grins. Like, this is actual scientific stuff that could seriously change how we see robots, humans even, that whole blurry line in between. The robots can smile and perform other expressions with the help of actuators, mimicking muscle movements. Okay, so the really wild thing about this research is that it's mixing living stuff with, you know, artificial stuff. We're talking biohybrid systems, yeah. which basically means they're taking living tissues and combining them with, like, man-made parts. Okay, so, like, cyborg stuff, but on a way smaller scale. Kind of, yeah. It's like you're giving robots a little bit of organic material. Mm. And the reason everyone's so interested in this is because, think about it, living tissues, they're amazing, mm. they can repair themselves, they adapt. That's like ridiculously hard to do with regular robots. That makes sense. And this team, they're led by Professor Shoji Takuchi, right? They've been doing this biohybrid thing for a while now, haven't they? Oh yeah, Professor Takuchi and that whole lab, they've been like pioneers in this field. They've done some seriously cool stuff. Lab-grown meat, self-healing skin, all using these same principles. Wow, lab-grown meat to smiling robots. A breakthrough could lead to robots with self-healing skin and eventually human-like features such as pores and sensors. While the robots can't feel yet, the technology brings them one step closer to lifelike behavior. It started like any other quiet night. A child, playing alone at home, was captured on an indoor home security camera. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary at first, the footage revealed something far more unsettling than anyone expected. The next day, as the video's uploader Jay Van Gogh reviewed the footage, they noticed something strange, something that would leave them deeply disturbed. Van Gogh's mother had been looking after their nephew that night, and according to the boy, he hadn't been playing alone. He told my mom he had met a boy that was playing with him, Van Gogh explained. The problem? There was no other boy in the house, and Van Gogh only has one nephew. Yet, in the footage, there is a chilling twist. Initially, the security camera shows the child playing by himself. And here's where things get truly eerie. The second child looks almost identical to Van Gogh's nephew. If there was only one child in the house that night, then who, or what, was the second figure? The resemblance between the two children only deepens the mystery. Was this some kind of glitch or trick of the camera? It's videos like this that make you question whether a child's imaginary friend might be more real than we think. While we can't say for sure if the second child captured on camera was a ghost or something else entirely, it's the kind of footage that leaves more questions than answers. Something eerie was caught on camera that night, and it's enough to send shivers down anyone's spine. The idea of the sun looking digitized like something out of a video game is pretty mind-bending. 
Y'all want to see what the sun looked like in Oklahoma the other day? This lady was driving home and she looked up and she noticed that the sun looks really digitized, like a Minecraft sun. Check it out. I'm not like a conspiracy theorist or anything like that, okay? I do read the Bible, which is not like a conspiracy theorist. Let me show you the sun. It doesn't look like the sun. I'm like freaking out. Okay, stop, stop. Um, am I crazy? Y'all see the red sun? Is it possible that what we're seeing is a new kind of atmospheric phenomenon or just a bizarre optical illusion? I've never seen the sun look like And you see the color of the sky? Is it smoked out? Or could this be a sign of larger, more mysterious changes happening around us? Oklahoma, I don't believe there's any fires in Oklahoma or around Oklahoma, but that is not a sun. That's, that looks digitized as hell, y'all. Like, what is going on? Are we waking up and realizing that we're in a video game, y'all? Like, the sun's the first thing, one of the first things to change. With so many strange occurrences in recent times, it's natural to question if our reality is shifting in ways we don't fully understand. Show you the sun. It doesn't look like the sun. What do you think? Are these changes just coincidences, or is something more profound at play? Could our perception of reality be changing? Or is there something else causing these strange visual effects? Okay, stop, stop. Um, am I crazy? There's something undeniably eerie about exploring abandoned places, especially when you step inside and quickly realize you're not alone. That unsettling feeling crept over this guy as soon as he entered the forgotten house. Thomas. At first glance, the place seemed empty, just another decaying structure left behind to rot. But soon enough, something happened that made it clear he wasn't as alone as he thought. As the video plays, you hear the tension building, the low rumble of eerie music filling the air. And then, out of nowhere, a sound cuts through the silence. A scream. It's quick, almost too quick to process, but there's no mistaking the fear in his voice. Now I know that all happened really fast, and if you blinked, you probably missed it. So here's a screenshot from the video taken right at the moment where things took a terrifying turn. When I first saw this image, I couldn't quite make sense of it first glance it almost looks like two babies combined into one grotesque figure but there's something off something unnatural about it the shape is twisted disturbing and whatever it is it doesn't belong in this world it's hard to say for sure what he encountered in that abandoned house was it a trick of the light a weird reflection or maybe something far more sinister lurking in the shadows whatever it was it left a lasting impression 
and the only thing we're left with is this chilling image and a lot of questions. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below, because I'm still trying to figure this one out myself.